All right, everyone. So hey, I just want to cover a couple of things real quick with regards to uh, soft plastics and your actual jig head. So the uh, concept is, is that I use particularly is that I like to follow the contour of the bait. So basically uh, in a egret wedge tail shad, you can see it's kind of tapered down towards the end. There's not a whole lot of surface area on the front side. So what I like to do is really use something that's really just a push on and uh, it holds it with that barbell as well as that little uh, barb there as well. But what it does is it, it just allows you to push the bait on there and since there isn't a whole lot of surface area, uh, it really just threads on there real nice and it's just again kind of an extension uh, of the bait itself. So just threading it on there, you want to go kind of nice and straight up through that fin and then just push it through. That's really the key. And then once you do that, you have a straight profile bait. It'll swim, got natural action. And again, a tapered uh, edge of the, the jig itself comes through and now you can fish it and it's kind of, um, you're gonna fish it horizontally. So uh, a couple of other things that I like to do is kind of with like a, a ball tail shed, like these brown lures, I like to use a screw lock. So um, I'm gonna unscrew this one just to kind of give you guys an idea. But big in Texas, uh, as you can see, it's got the screw lock keeper on the front side of it. Uh, but the reason I like to use a screw lock is if you look on the front side of this bait, it has a huge surface area, unlike the uh, egret wedge tail. So what you can do is you can, you know, just center that that uh, point and then come through, thread that bait uh, up through the jig itself, and then all of a sudden now you got again a straight profile. But again, it's kind of that extension too. So it kind of natural action this is this as well as the trout trick just the uh, <clears throat> the two long slender bodies so which this is not a swim jig right so what you want to do is this is more you know talking about finesse trout fishing bites real slow a little bit deeper uh, what you want to do is that that bait's going to sink basically with the jig first so it's going to come down and you want to hop it uh, unlike you know a wedge tail where you can actually swim it twitch twitch and then you know the 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 bait uh, or the trout eats the bait the good thing about the DSLs though, the down south is that they're kind of a hybrid and that's what I love about these baits but again sticking with the same concept of using a jig head style that fits the contour of the bait so down south lure if you can see in the front side of that bait it really tapers down towards the front edge so I like to use like these bullet style weights along with the screw keeper the surface area is enough on the front side of it uh, TTF or Norton makes a really good uh, jig head style for that, the 16th or the 8th ounce, particularly for those baits. And what you can do is you can work it like a slow sink jig or like a, a jerk shad, if you will, or you can kind of slow roll it. And it's just got that little kicker tail. And what that does is it just keeps it keeled where it won't spin or anything along those lines when you're swimming that bait. And it's got great action. Last but not least, Matrix Shad. Uh, this is kind of more your all-around swim bait for just getting bit. Uh, the good thing about it is kind of, again, kind of a hybrid to, to some extent. You can jig it in deep water. That's what those guys do over in, uh, over in South Louisiana in Lake Pontchartrain, that estuary right there, fishing 15, 20 foot of water. But what I like to use is kind of a, a short shank arrow style jig head because what happens is if you look at the front side of that bait, it kind of tapers towards the top. So what I like about these is, I'm going to thread this on there real quick is you know this is again you can fish in that deep water the short shank allows really th that bait uh to get you know basically engulfed but coming straight down to shoot big kicker tail boot style tail and you could swim that bait but again it's just elongating the bait with the actual jig head and then fitting the jig head to the actual body style of the soft plastic i think that's a pretty key concept this is uh, an eighth ounce. You can go up to a quarter or you can go down to a sixteenth. Most jig head types, they'll make all different sizes. But pick a jig head that works best for a soft plastic and then go up or down with the actual size depending on the depth of the water that you're fishing. So that's really just a key tip um, that I like to use when I'm fishing soft plastics. I love fishing them. Um, they're so versatile. You can catch big trout. Uh, you can target uh, just getting bit in general, but you can see the various style of jig heads and the jig head types uh, that fit 
uh, the body. So again, hopefully this is a good tip for everybody. And uh, until next time, tight lines.